This is a guide on replacing an LCD panel on the Apple MacBook 13. For the replacement process, we'll need the following tools. A heat gun or a hairdryer, plastic picks, a flat metal tool, tweezers and a small Phillips screwdriver. The battery is not easily removable on this laptop, so make sure to not accidentally power on the system during disassembly. To gain access to the panel, you will need to remove the thin plastic bezel from the display assembly. The bezel is glued on, so it's highly recommended to use a heat gun for removal. Start by gently heating up the edge of the display assembly. Apply heat evenly throughout the perimeter and do not stay in one spot for too long. Apply heat for 60 to 90 seconds at most. Then using a plastic pick, start separating the bezel at the top right corner. Ensure that you are separating between the rubber gasket and the back cover. That rubber gasket is part of the bezel and should stay with it. Insert plastic separators to keep the bezel from sticking back. Proceed separating the bezel with the plastic pick around the perimeter until you are able to continue with your fingers. Be gentle and try to pull from both inner and outer sides of the plastic bezel. Put the bezel aside. At this point, you have access to the mounting screws. There are a total of six screws, four on the sides and two smaller ones on the bottom edge. As well, there are two screws close together at the bottom right corner. You need to remove the lower one. The one above is for the wireless antenna cable. Once all the screws are removed, the LCD panel can be removed. Grab a hold of the upper mounts on the sides, then pull straight up about an inch. Make sure to be extra careful on this step since the screen is equipped with a locking bracket connector, which will need to be opened before removing the screen fully. Use the tweezers to peel back the protective tape, then unlock the video connector's bracket, picking it from the top of the connector. Once fully unlocked, the panel can be removed. Take out your replacement panel and remove the protective film. At this point, a replacement LCD can be installed. The video connector is at a slight angle and we found that it is easier to plug the screen onto the connector rather than the other way round. Remember that the connectors are very fragile and you must be very aware of forces being applied on them. Lower the screen into its original position. Replace the LCD mounting screws. Remember that the two smaller ones go on the bottom. It is also important to make sure that the screws go in freely and are flush with the mounting brackets, otherwise the bezel will have bumps on it. We highly recommend testing the screen at this point. Push the power button, wait for the startup image to appear and hold the power button to cancel the boot up. Go ahead and replace the bezel. Align with the bottom edge, then snap in both upper corners into the guiding pins and go around the perimeter of the bezel, pressing firmly on the plastic to let the adhesive catch back in place. And you're done.